In 1910, a group of forward-thinking people created a highly innovative program to address the needs of children and young adults. They named it the Boy Scouts of America. All across the country, Scout Councils were formed to administer and develop the Scouting program in local communities. Since that time, nearly 110 million Americans have been members of the BSA. Now, in the 21st century, the Boy Scouts of America is faced with the long-term challenge to stay relevant with today's youth and their parents. In scouting, we have a real problem. Not here, nationally. We have a long-term decline in membership. For fewer and fewer boys, traditional scouting uh, has become relevant. Membership in the BSA is half of what it was in its peak years of the 1960s and 70s. In just the last two years, the decline has been steeper, with a loss of almost 15%. This decline has been attributed to the changes in structure of American families, increased competition by other youth-serving organizations, and sweeping social changes. This really isn't about a merger. This is about scouting, the scouting movement and how in the last 10 years or so it has changed and its, its perspective in society has changed. And I just don't get that because I've had such a good experience growing up and as an adult with what good things scouting provides to so many people. And uh, to let that slip, to let that slide, I think is just, it's a shame because there is still so much good that anyone who gets involved in scouting could benefit from. It's not just worth saving, it's worth growing. And I like to use the word thrive because I think making scouting to thrive in our footprint and nationwide and worldwide can't do anything but good things for our country and for our society and just for folks at large. Recognizing the importance of scouting to today's young people, the leaders from two scout councils began working together with combined resources to find solutions. Although the challenges are formidable, they did not believe that the continued decline of scouting is irreversible. They knew that the success would require significant changes. They set out to build something new. So this merger is different. And I'll say it's different, and I won't even use the word merger again. We're really talking about creating a new council. And I think we've done it in a way that's pretty innovative. And we've set a very high bar for ourselves. Starting in January 2015, they took action. To maximize the value of available talent and resources, it was determined to create a new council. Unlike past mergers, the focus was not the consolidation of costs. Rather, they set out to develop a vision to significantly grow the scouting program. A merger oversight committee was formed to steer the process. They began by listening. Probably the most innovative part of the whole process is the fact that we have made a tremendous effort to engage the volunteers at the unit level and the district level to uh, help us formulate a strategic vision for the council and to stay engaged and active as we go through this process. So we initiated the process of merger through uh, hosting eight or so listening sessions throughout both councils. And uh, what I anticipated to be nothing more than a gripe session with complaints and concerns uh, it was carefully structured and what came out of each session was a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and uh, uh, creative ideas and creative thinking from unit volunteers and parents um, and district level volunteers who really wanted to answer this single question, what can we do to make scouting thrive in our community? To answer the question, how do we make scouting thrive, the committee reviewed the practices within the BSA. It forms subcommittees in areas of finance, governance, membership, program, properties, and marketing. It also studied other successful youth organizations and reviewed the independent literature and studies on the issues facing the BSA. There was no fear to innovate. In fact, it was encouraged. It was just a matter of rethinking how we utilized some of our resources and finding a way to say, that's okay, and giving ourselves the latitude to say, 
That's a good thing. We want that to happen. We're in the business of helping families. We're in the business of helping grow character, and we use the outdoors to do it. We've got plenty of outdoors. Let's find more families that want to be a part of that thing and, uh, and help grow some character. Even the name for this new council reflects innovation. One of the subcommittees is the marketing subcommittee. And one of their charges was to come up with the name. They did that by asking members, volunteers, scouts, leaders throughout both councils to submit their names. We got over 150 submissions. And the marketing committee went through those and submitted five of those to the MOC the Merger Oversight Committee. And a couple weeks ago, we made that decision. And the decision was based on a couple of things. One is we felt that we could have, this, this area is so rich in history, we could easily have a historical-based council name. And that there were some good ones for that. But we don't want something that implies that we're looking backwards. We want something that implies that we're looking to the future. A major emphasis of the strategic vision focuses on meeting the needs of families. The objective is to remove the barriers that make it difficult to join scouting. Those needs of our parents need to be met in a co-ed environment at times, and at other times, a single-sex environment is exactly what that boy or that girl needs. So this idea of parallel programs is really a culmination of looking at all the recommendations from all the different committees and saying, how do we serve all of these recommendations with sort of an overarching plan? From a volunteer perspective, I'm a single mom, I've got a boy and a girl, my girl wants to be in Girl Scouts, my son wants to be in Boy Scouts, I want to volunteer, you make it so tough, I can't do both, how do I do this? And we looked at our resources, uh, it became really apparent that we have an enormous amount of resources that many of them are going underutilized and we want them to be utilized. That is part of our mission. We want kids in the outdoors, and if it's easier to get the boy in the outdoors through Cub Scouts by having his sister come along through Brownies, then great, there's nothing wrong with that. The issue of scout camps has historically been a divisive obstacle in the merging of scout councils. Recognizing the enormous potential the camps bring, an innovative vision was conceived. The Spirit of Adventure Council views camping programs and facilities as a major focus for reaching more youth and their families. This vision includes the development of a network of camps that will provide a unique adventure in southern New Hampshire. Translating this vision into action will be the first task of the Spirit of Adventure Council. Over the next year, a detailed strategic plan will be developed with specific objectives and tactical approaches. Because we can't let the enthusiasm wane, we have to make sure that unit leaders are focused on making their units successful, and we will do everything we can at the council level um, to give them the tools and the resources and the training and the customer service that they expect and, demand, and should have um, to be successful. So what we need to do is we need to think differently, we need to think bigger, we need to break new ground. And the idea of this creation of a new council is to allow us to do that. The important part of creating a strategic vision as part of creating the new council is the day after we become one council, we have to know where we're going. So that's really, we didn't do a lot of work to create the new council. We did a lot of work to create the new vision. And we tried to engage as many folks as we could. Our new council begins with enthusiasm and excitement yet it is grounded in the reality of a need for change. It is committed towards stacking the deck in favor of children and young adults. Kids are surrounded by plenty of opportunities to make the wrong decisions and to experience the negative. Scouting stacks the deck for a positive experience. We seek to provide youth with a set of experiences that they'll use for the rest of their lives. Whether that manifests itself in good friends, valuable skills, a first shot at leading a team, or just a good memory or two. That is the heart of our spirit. Together, we are joined in the spirit of adventure.